Hi, my name is Amy and I was born and raised in Juneau, Alaska. And in Juneau, you are very isolated and in a very unique environment and situation where you are consistently with the same group of people throughout your schooling. So this kind of environment has created a place where I'm very comfortable in creating deep and strong bonds with other people. Also, my culture um, has really emphasized a strong bond with family. I am used to having lots of time with family that is very meaningful amount of time, quality time. And because of this, it has led into my adult life, me having um, a very strong sense of connection with other people. And I would say that my self-awareness as well um, has led to me being able to reflect on where I can do better in my communication styles in regards to if I need to have stronger boundaries in my communication style or if I need to pull back and relax. And I would also say that I am a very empathetic person in my culture and even just my parents as people have always emphasized respect for others and treating others with kindness and love and i would say that that is something that i've carried with me throughout my entirety of my life and i think the empathetic and self-awareness have created some strong principles in my communication style some places in my communication style that i could improve on is feedback I think that sometimes having too much self-awareness can also be a curse. Um, you do spend a little bit too much time thinking about your transactional kind of communication styles where it can get hard to receive and give feedback, but that is something that I have recognized and am continuously working on. The self-awareness and empathetic is something that I look for in my reference group of people that I surround myself with as well as being able to create a strong bond and being able to talk to one another on a deep level. I would say that the friends I have made and the friends that I seek out for the future are like this and I, this is something that I hold value to in my life. And um, for personal strengths of communication, I would say, like I said earlier, since I was raised to treat others with respect, it does create some conflict with being able to set boundaries, but I would say that I have a very confident communication style where I can communicate my boundaries respectfully and sternly. Um, however, sometimes this can come off a little bit too strongly if emotions are heightened and you do feel strongly about a subject that you want to make a, make, make a point. However, I do think that for the most part, it is a very healthy thing to be able to express your words and language and I think language overall is something that I am always consistently working on as I get more knowledge and I age I understand more um, respectful communication and boundaries with talking.